September 15th, we're heading to the Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. Wish us luck. We're in a uh, Jeep TJ and we got a five and a half hour drive. So I'll catch you back up with y'all here in a little bit. the worst uh, five hour drive I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, no. Update, we are in Crossville, Tennessee, getting some go-go juice from the old TJ. Show little bitch. We got about another hour and a half, and then we will be arriving at our cabin in Sevierville, Sevierville, Tennessee.
guys here we are day two saturday uh it's like 9 45 in the morning we're heading to the convention center now I'm gonna watch some more dyno trucks this morning and i think a couple more events that's held inside of the convention center start at like noon or 12 30. once we arrive at the convention center i'll uh i'll get back with y'all and i'll catch back up with you guys at the dyno Well, guys, sadly, that's a wrap for the Smoky Mountain no, Truck Fest. We're gonna be uh, gonna go get our fat butt some food here. Did you? Was that an insult? <laughs> Have we decided where that's we're gonna eat at yet? Strip. Oh, I said where we gonna eat at. Dicks. Where at? Dicks. <laughs> the strip down there. Where's that? At? Down there. Is it a good place? Like, oh, yeah, dude, I love Is it? <laughs> We have got a long ride in this thing. What is it, another five and a half hour drive in a Jeep TJ? <laughs> another five and a Weather man says it's gonna rain for about what 30 minutes and it's been about mm, two and a half, three they hours. Really did say it's huh? They really did say it wasn't gonna rain that long. It's been what three hours now? Yeah. I got so hungry I ate my seat.
What's up guys? As you can tell, we're back in my truck. Uh, we are back from Smoky Mountain. This is actually like a week and a half, probably almost pushing two weeks since we've been back from Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. Um, I've been slacking, trying to work a full, full time job, uh, working swing shift on top of that, and then squeezing in all the editing that goes into a YouTube video to make it even worth the crap. Takes up a lot of time, and I did not realize how much time that it does take up. So, um, I do apologize. I am going to get better. You know, as I do more and more, I'm getting quicker and faster at it. I'm trying to figure out all the little quirks and all that stuff of the app I use. So, um, Smoky Mountain Truck Fest was, I thought it was great. Next year, we are going to be going back for sure. Probably going to try to schedule it. Uh, to stay for more than just a night you know maybe stay for i like to stay for a week personally so i might put in a vacation day around next year's event and then uh stay for a week or so bring down the family you know the whole nine yards um but wrapping this video up uh next video will be oh probably next week or maybe another two weeks from now uh depends on whenever parts will come in uh, we're going to be doing a oil catch can setup on my personal truck and then going to be addressing an oil leak on my front CAD system on the front axle. So I'm going to go over everything I did. You know, a lot of guys do that four wheel drive, the four by four uh, posi lock or whatever it's called for the second gens to delete the vacuum system. I don't like that setup neither. I don't like having to. Uh, uh, turn that knob counterclockwise or whatever it is to screw that thing out and then engage your four-wheel drive I did away with the CAD system um, I just slid the collar over but I will go over that whole all that stuff on the next video I'll show you guys what I did and there is there actually is no parts you got to buy you just use your existing parts and you shift everything over and reuse one circlip put it back in and boom ready to go so on the next video I'll be covering uh fixing oil leak on that either the rtv or the gasket gave away i don't know yet and oil catch can and uh i like to do i don't know i might have a set of traction bars in by then uh gonna probably be ordering a set of reaper reaper traction bars and doing away with the homemade diy kit i did years and years and years ago so hope you guys liked this video and if you haven't already subscribed liked and comment on this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one